Hi, this is Donna again with ABC Cake Decorating and Baking Supplies. This is going to be a very short, 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 it's kind of more like a tutorial. What I want to do is just talk a little bit about the spray paints. Remember when we did the dory and we did the uh, Paw Patrol and how I painted the doilies with the spray? I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit about what you can do with that with a cupcake. This one here is a 50th anniversary cupcake. And what I've done is I basically just tinted the icing gold so it was already gold so I didn't have to spray so much gold on it to get it to cover. Then what I did is I just took it and I just iced it normal. If you were there when we learned how to basically ice a cupcake, that's exactly what I did. I just took a closed star tip, started on the outside and just came on the inside. This was gold and then what I did is I just took it and this is a gold pearl spray and it gave it that real nice sheen to it. What I want to do here and the spray paints come in so many different colors but again if I brought all of my and I kind of call it my cake arsenal if I brought all of my spray paints with me I'd have so many Sometimes you have a hard time deciding when you have too many. It's like, oh my gosh, oh, I don't know. Or you have too many and you have them in a special spot and then you never can find the color you need because it's in that special spot. Oh boy. Okay, so how you do this is I iced my cupcake and it's so simple. You can get color on your cupcake without having an airbrush. If you had a sheet cake and you were doing an ocean scene, and you wanted just a little bit of blue, shake it up, just squirt it right around the cake and you kind of get that blue airbrush effect. Similar to this, what I'm going to do, and you just, the key is you want to make sure you shake it up really well. And then you just come in here and you just kind of do short little spurts. Now, if you wanted this all orange, what you would do is you would come in and you would just start swirling let it dry a little bit and then come back and do some more touch up. What I want to do now is I want to add a little bit of the gold pearl to it just so you can see what the pearl looks like. And these are really nice when you, if you remember when we did the zebra cupcake, the, the, the larger cupcake, if you do a tie dye cupcake and then you spray the outside with tie dye and then if you want to do little peace signs or if you want to put little Volkswagens or hippie bugs or anything on the top. So I'm going to shake this up and then here. Look at how shiny that is. This comes in gold pearl, silver pearl, and it comes in just pearl. They also have what's called a clear glaze. So if you're making something and you just want it shiny with no color, same thing. It comes in a can, shake it, and this is all edible, it's all food grade, FDA approved, no, no worries whatsoever. So we've got our gold and we've got our orange. And let's just add a little bit of purple just for some color here. And you can see, you see the purple starting to come? We're gonna shake it up a little bit more. Now if you also just wanted to touch the tops of, with a color, then all you're going to do is come in here and we'll do the top of it just. And then if you did that all over, you'd have the white in the ink creases and just the top of the, the fins from the icing tips, that would be the thing that's colored. And then if you wanted to, we're just gonna be for fun, stick a pic in there that says I do. I do love cupcakes. And I do hope you enjoyed our segment on spray paint. You don't need a, airbrush you just need some paint and oh you can also use this at halloween time want to spray your hair a color want to spray your body if you want to look like the tin man or the guy goldfinger you can spray on yourself and then take a shower and you're all clean thank you for watching we'd appreciate hearing from you if you have any comments questions Anything you'd like to know, please email me at the address below and I will get back with you. Have a wonderful cupcake day and don't forget to practice.